the second of a series of screencasts looking at the animation features within PowerPoint. And uh, in this one, we're going to look at the simplest of the animations, which is just to make items appear. So if we look at the effect that we're trying to create, um, we want one, one item to appear. When we click on the mouse button, the next one appears and the like. So I'm just going to come out of that and into the editing mode. So what I've got here is um, <clears throat> my diagram with my object uh, drawn as such. And what we need to do is on the animations tab, is we're going to go to custom animation and that will bring this pane up on the right hand side so the first thing that I want to happen is I want this box here to appear so I select the box and I then go to add effect and then entrance and then I choose appear now if appear doesn't show in your list just go to more effects and then choose it from the, the bigger list okay once you've used it once it will then appear in the, uh, the other list so I've now got it set so that on a mouse click, that rounded rectangle with the word idea in it will appear. For my next click, I want the arrow to appear and then the shape after it. So what I'm going to do is I've selected both by holding my finger on the shift key. And again, add effect, entrance, appear. And what you'll see that it's done there is it said uh, on the mouse click, press the, uh, bring in the arrow and then straight away afterwards bring in the rectangle which is what we want so I'll repeat that click on the arrow hold my finger on the shift key click on the next box add effect entrance appear on the arrow shift key select the box add effect entrance and appear and we can very quickly build up our animation as such And then the final one is just the last arrow. So I'm just going to test to see how this works. We might need to change the, um, the timing slightly. So we're going to run the presentation from the current slide. Oh, it looks like we've missed an arrow out. So we missed that arrow there. So we're going to add that, an entrance and appear. It now appears at the bottom, but I want that one to appear uh, before reflect. So I'm just going to click on it and move it up. And that will now work, hopefully, in the right place. So we'll just try that again. And that's created the right sequence. Now I can go backwards and forwards by using my left uh, cursor key. Or forwards with my right cursor key. Uh, and that's how we create a simple appear animation. Um, at the moment, we've got things appearing um, on a mouse click or immediately afterwards so if I just click on here you can see that the options here are start on click start with previous or start after previous so with start after previous it will wait for the earlier animation to finish before it starts now with appear because it happens instantaneously it doesn't matter which of these two you use but let's say rather than using an appear animation we use something that took a, a couple of seconds to happen you could then change it to start after previous. That would mean that the first animation would finish and then the next one would start straight away afterwards. Later on in other screencasts, we'll look at some of these other options that appear here um, and how they can be used.